Please note, we would like to make it very clear, we are totally against the form of discipline described in the articles and accounts being used on minors and non-consenting adults. Although some of these accounts are fictional, and others may be an exaggerated reality, none of them are too far from the truth of what really happened back in those days. If you are enjoying our stories, please do subscribe to this channel. We will be posting many more stories as time goes by. During junior high my two best friends' moms still handled misbehavior problems themselves, by spanking the offender, whoever it was, on the spot. This meant that both summers I had my bear behind spanked by Jerry's mom, Mrs. Trosper, who had two sons and really knew how to tan a bear behind, and Jim's mom, Mrs. Waldron, who used to birch switch too often and too hard. Both of these moms had routinely spanked my bare bottom since I was six or seven and had no problems correcting my behavior by tanning my bare behind when necessary. On many occasions I would be the only one being spanked, especially during the summer I was 13. In fact Mrs. Trosper continued to spank Jerry's, mine and our friend's bare bottoms with her trusty hairbrush fairly often once or twice a month, during our freshman and sophomore years, and occasionally during our junior year of high school. These spankings always took place in her house and always on our bare behinds. The problem was that I received far more spankings from Mrs. Trosper, at least two to one than Jerry did during those teenage years. When we were 15 Jerry, Jim and I had dates for a party on a Friday night, which consisted of the three of us and our dates going to Jerry's house to play games and to dance. As sophomore boys we were not great dates, and by 8 o'clock we had gone outside to play basketball while our dates were inside talking with Mrs. Trosper. We came back in and Jerry got upset when he saw his mom and the girls on the couch looking at a photo album. Jerry ran to his mom and asked her to put it away, and she told him to sit down and be quiet while the girls were laughing at the album. The first few pages were typical family photos of Jerry as a baby, naked on a rug, being diapered or in a bath, and the girls thought it was cute. His mom had several album pages devoted to each year, and when she got to the year Jerry was six there were several of him standing against the wall with his pants down, displaying a bright red, I've just been spanked, behind. Jerry pulled us aside and told us that his mom had taken pictures after most of the spankings she had given us, and that many of them were displayed in the album. We then tried to talk the girls into dancing, but they wanted to see more of the album. When they got to the year we were eight there was a photo showing five boys standing against the wall with their pants around their ankles, and their red behinds showing. The photo was labelled indicating that the boys were Jerry, Sam, Jim, Mike and Larry. That year in the album consisted of several pages and two or three more photos of just spanked boys, both with just Jerry and me in them. When we got to our ninth year, the three of us were featured in several I've just been spanked photos, and Jerry and I were also in one in which we were looking at his mom as we cried and rubbed our bare behinds, with everything on display. The girls were giggling like crazy when they got to the year we were ten, and there were more photos of four or five boys who had just been spanked, along with several others of Jerry and me and some of just me standing against the wall. This year also featured several photos of both Jerry and me across his mom's knee as we were being spanked, the photos were apparently taken by Jerry's little brother. The year we were eleven only had three spanking photos, and they all featured Jerry, his little brother, and my bare red behinds. The girls were disappointed when the album ended with the year we were eleven and wanted to know if there were more, but we broke into the discussion and tried to get them to dance or play games. The girls could not stop talking about the album, and they began to wonder and ask if we had been spanked after the sixth grade. Jerry's mom assured them that she had continued to spank our bare behinds as we got older, and often. The girls were not interested in dancing, and we got into a real argument about them wanting to see the second volume of the photo album, which ended up with Jerry yelling at his mom. Mrs. Trosper got up and left the room, and when she returned she had the second photo album, and her big wooden hairbrush, which she sat on the coffee table next to the album. The girls sat down and started looking at the year we turned twelve, which had numerous photos of our red behinds, 
especially Jerry's and mine, but a few of Jim and other friends. The most embarrassing photo sequence was one of Jerry as he was being spanked, followed by the same sequence as Jim and I were each spanked. It ended with a photo of the three of us standing against the wall rubbing our red behinds with then another of us with our pants down facing his mom as we cried, but all three of us had a hard on. The girls spent several minutes on that page and could not help but pointing out the frontal views and laughing at our hard ons We tried to get the girls to dance but the photo album had their attention and they really enjoyed looking at each year to see if we were still spanked on our bare behinds even through our freshman year. That year I was featured in six or seven of the ten spanking photos, including one when I was facing the camera which got a lot of giggles and pointing. The last three pages were blank, and the girls were really disappointed. Jerry's mom had an idea, and went to get a box of photos from this year, and asked the girls if they would like to help her select the photos for the album. The four of them rummaged through the photos, which included birthdays and vacations and a nice selection of Jerry and his brother and their friends being spanked or standing against the wall after being spanked. The girls had a lot of fun picking which photos would go into the book and were sure to include a lot of ones with our bare behinds showing. The girls saw numerous photos of us being spanked and several with frontal views after a spanking, but only selected nine or ten for the album and my bare red well spanked behind was displayed in almost all of them. When the girls had finished bringing the album up to date, Mrs. Trosper picked up the hairbrush and ordered the three of us into the kitchen. She then took Jerry's pants down, turned him over her knee and after lowering his underpants she blistered his bare behind with the hairbrush in front of the girls until he was crying and begging her to stop. When she was finished with Jerry she had his date remove his pants and shoes before sending him to stand against the wall with his underpants around his ankle. She then spanked Jim's bare behind followed by mine, and when she was finished the three of us were standing against the wall with our red obviously very sore behinds on display and with our underpants around our ankles as she took our photo. She then had us pull up our underpants and come over to where our dates had been waiting and watching our spankings with a lot of interest, and she handed Jerry's date the hairbrush and told her to give him a good hard bare bottom spanking. Judy sat on the chair and turned Jerry over her knee, pulled down his underpants and used the hairbrush to give him 30 swats, which when applied to his already sore red behind left him in tears again, while his mom carefully documented this spanking with her camera. Then Jim's date, Carol, bared his behind and spanked him until he was crying and was made to stand next to Jerry against the wall in tears, and it was my date's turn. My date Pam had me stand beside her while she smacked the hairbrush on her hand and talked about what I was about to get, then she pulled my underpants down to my ankle before she turned me over her knee. This frontal picture of me standing beside Pam, with my underpants down around my knees, as she held the hairbrush made the photo album. She held me across her knee and made me wait, before applying the hairbrush to my obviously sore red behind, and when she did start spanking she really let me have it repeatedly until I was sobbing before she was done. The other girls had given Jerry and Jim each 30 swats, but Pam gave me 50 hard swats, and I do mean hard, which when applied to my already sore behind left me in tears. Smack, 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 Mac. When the three of us had all been spanked by our dates Jerry's mom took photos of us standing against the wall, with our date standing next to us posing as they smacked our bare behinds. The rest of the night the three of us remained dressed only in our shirts and underpants as we danced and played cards, with occasional interruptions for a spanking from his mom or our dates when they thought we needed one. We were all spanked at least twice, but I got four additional spankings. 
Before we went home Jerry's mom invited the girls to come over to her house the next Saturday afternoon to help her update the photo album with these latest spanking photos. The girls asked her if they could have prints of some of the photos, and his mom thought that this was a great idea. The next weekend Jerry, Jim and I sat there as the girls, and his mom put the photos of our latest spanking session into four blank pages of the family album. Mrs. Trosper then gave the girls a set of the photos, which featured them as they spanked our bare behinds as we were bent over their knees. She also gave them copies of ones with the three of us against the wall with them standing next to us pointing at our red behinds and laughing. The three of us objected to the girls getting these photos, and the argument ended up with the three of us getting spanked again by Jerry's mom, and then by the girls. The only difference was that after being really blistered by Jerry's mom of 50 hard swats, she had each of the three girls take turns spanking each of us. These spankings were also photographed by Jerry's mom and ended up in the album. There were nine pictures in this set, three photos of each of the girls as they tan Jerry's, Jim's and my bare behinds with the hairbrush as we lay across their knees. The Trosper photo album of the year we were 15 ended up having a lot of pages and many of them highlighted spankings and our bare behinds. We also appeared a few times in the album during our junior year either being spanked or just after a spanking, when we were 16. Mrs. Trosper had even more photos she had taken of me being spanked by myself that year, but they were not in the album, and when we became seniors and I had turned 17, she gave me these photos, just before she gave me my last bare bottom spanking. Jerry and I had just turned 16, and during the first week of our junior year we got into trouble at his house along with his little brother. His mom was really upset and started spanking his little brother while Jerry and I enjoying watching because we knew that we were now too old to be spanked. It was fun watching his 14-year-old brother squirm and cry as his mom turned his behind bright red by repeatedly smacking it with her hairbrush and then watching him stand in the corner in tears as he rubbed his obviously sore red behind. Jerry and I teased his brother about his spanking, but his mom told us to leave him alone, because now it was now our turn. We complained that we were too old to be spanked, but she informed us that she had spanked us both just a few weeks before and she intended to continue spanking our bare behinds whenever we deserved it, even if we were 16. She grabbed Jerry, lowered his pants, turned him over her knee, removed his underpants and proceeded to spank him with the hairbrush. Within minutes Jerry was squirming and crying just like his brother, and as his mom continued spanking him his behind became bright red, and he was in tears. When she finished she had given Jerry one of the longest hardest spankings, 50 hard swats, I had ever seen, and Jerry joined his brother standing against the wall trying to rub the pain out of his red, almost purple behind. Mrs. Trosper then grabbed my hand and within seconds I was over her knee with my pants and underpants around my ankles as she began to spank my 16-year-old behind with her hairbrush. Each swat of the hairbrush made me feel as if I had been shot as my entire behind stung, and I squirmed trying to avoid the pain of each smack. The more I squirmed and cried trying to avoid the hairbrush, the tighter she held me, and the harder and faster she applied the hairbrush. After I was in tears and begging her to stop, she continued the spanking for what seemed to be forever until I finally managed to squirm until I fell off of her lap and got free. I was then standing in the middle of the room rubbing my behind and crying when she told me to come back so she could finish my spanking, but I refused and said that I was going home. Mrs. Trosper stood up and came over to me and gave me a swat with the hairbrush and told me to get back to the chair and when I argued she grabbed me by my dick and pulled me back to the chair. She turned me back over her knee and informed me that because my spanking had been interrupted she was going to have to start all over again and that I was going to get in 20 extra swats for disobeying her. She then applied 50 hard swats to my already extremely sore behind, which left me in so much pain that I almost wet myself. She then added the 20 extra swats, and when she finished, Jerry and his brother watched my th I've just been spanked a dance as I tried to put out the fire on my behind. I had just gotten probably 40 of swats of the original spanking, and then an additional 70 for disobeying her. 
I stood in the corner crying for 30 minutes until she returned to let Jerry and his brother get dressed. I started to pull up my pants but she told me that my punishment was not finished. Jerry and his brother watched as she turned me back over her knee and gave me another serious spanking. Smack, 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 smack. This spanking was given slowly and carefully so that she was sure that not an inch of my bare behind was left out, and which made my behind red and sore for days. The spanking was followed by an hour of corner time, with me in tears standing with by behind showing and trying unsuccessfully to rub away the pain. This episode of my bare behind being blistered ended up as a two-page spread in the Trosper family album. It became apparent that after we turned 16, Mrs. Trosper had no problem turning Jerry and me over her knee with our pants around our ankles as she blistered our bare behinds with her hairbrush until we were crying like five-year-olds. Jerry and I both received four or five additional hairbrush spankings, 25 to 30 swats, after this one during our junior year, and I got another two or three by myself with Jerry and his brother watching. The week after this serious spanking by Mrs. Trosper, I got into trouble at home, and Dad just yelled at me and sent me to bed early. I felt that I still needed to be punished for my behavior so after school the next day I went to Jerry's house, while Jerry and his brother were at baseball practice. I described my behavior to his mom and asked her to punish me. She agreed that I needed to be punished and obliged me by removing my pants and turning my behind crimson red with over 50 swats of her hairbrush. Smack, 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 Smack as she then had me stand in the corner for 15 minutes, before repeating the punishment with another 50 even harder swats to my already bright red and very sore behind, which left me sobbing like a little kid. Smack, 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 Smack. During the rest of the year, Jerry and I were punished by his mom four or five more times because of behavior at her house. I also asked for and received at least 20 additional bare bottom sessions over her knee because I felt that I deserved to be punished and because I enjoyed the sensation of having her spanking, and I do mean spanking my bare behind. Smack, 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 smack. I was careful however not to get his mom mad, because I did not want a repeat of the serious spanking I had gotten the time I disobeyed her.